Question 1. What is digital logic? Answer. Digital logic is the representation of signals and sequences of a digital circuit through numbers. It is the basis for digital computing and provides a fundamental understanding on how circuits and hardware communicate within a computer. Question 2. What is combinational logic? Answer. The term combinational logic refers to circuitry that transforms bits, as opposed to storing bits. For example, the ALU portion of a CPU transforms data, e.g. transforming two input word-sized bit strings into an output which is the sum of the two inputs. Question 3. Explain sequential logic. Answer. Sequential logic stores data, registers in a CPU, RAM and so on store data. Question 4. Explain computer architecture. Answer. A modern meaning of the term computer architecture covers three aspects of computer design, instruction set architecture, computer organization, computer hardware. Question 5. Explain instruction set architecture. Answer. Instruction set architecture, ISA refers to the actual programmer visible machine interface such as instruction set, registers, memory organization and exception handling. Two main approaches, RISC and CISC architectures. A computer organization and computer hardware are two components of the implementation of a machine. Computer organization includes the high level aspects of a design, such as the memory system, the bus structure, and the design of the internal CPU, where arithmetic, logic, branching and data transfers are implemented. Computer hardware refers to the specifics of a machine, included the detailed logic design and the packaging technology of the machine. For many years the interaction between ICER and implementations was believed to be small, and implementation issues were not a major focus in designing instruction set architecture. In the 19 1980s, it becomes clear that both the difficulty and inefficiency of pipelining could be increased by instruction set architecture complications. Question 6. What are the tasks of computer architects? Answer. Tasks of computer architects. Computer architects must design a computer to meet functional requirements as well as price, power, and performance goals. Often, they also have to determine what the functional requirements are, which can be a major task. Once a set of functional requirements has been established, the architect must try to optimize the design. Here are three major application areas and their main requirements, desktop computers, focus on optimizing cost performance as measured by a single user, with little regard for program size or power consumption. Server computers, focus on availability, scalability, and throughput cost performance. Embedded computers, driven by price and often power issues, plus code size is important. Question 7. What are the developments of computer design? Answer. Developments in computer design. During the first 25 years of electronic computers both forces, technology and innovations in computer design made major contributions. Then, during the 1970s, computer designers were largely dependent upon integrated circuit technology, with roughly 35% growth per year in processor performance. In the last Last 20 year, the combination of innovations in computer design and improvements in technology has led sustained growth in performance at an annual rate of over 55%. In this period, the main source of innovations in computer design has come from RISC-style pipeline processes. Question 8. Explain risk architecture. Answer. Risk architecture. After 1985, any computer announced has been of risk architecture. Risk designers focused on two critical performance techniques in computer design. The exploitation of instruction level. The exploitation of instruction level parallelism. First through pipelining and later through multiple instruction issue. The use of cache. First in simple forms and later using sophisticated organizations and optimizations.
Question 9. What are the characteristics of risk ISA? Answer. Risk ISA characteristics all operations on data apply to data in registers and typically change the entire register. The only operations that affect memory are load and store operations that move data from memory to a register or to memory from a register, respectively. A small number of memory addressing modes. The instruction formats are few in number with all instructions typically being one size. Large number of registers these simple properties lead to dramatic simplifications in the implementation of advanced pipelining techniques, which is why RISC architecture instruction sets were designed this way. Question 10. What is the main example of CISC architecture processor? Answer. Intel IA32 processors in over 90% computers. Intel IA32 processors, from 80386 processor in early 80s to Pentium IV today, and the next one to be introduced this or next year, are of CISC architecture. All Intel IA32 processors are having as a base the identical instruction set architecture design designed in early 1980s. Question 11. What does MIP stand for? Answer. Microprocessor without interlocked pipeline stages. MIPS processor is one of the first RISC processors. Again, all processors announced after 1985 have been of RISC architecture. Question 12. Explain the combinational logic design process. Answer. Combinational logic design process. Create truth table from specification. Generate K-maps and obtain logic equations. Draw logic diagram. Sharing common gates. Simulate circuit for design verification. Debug and fix problems when output is incorrect. Check truth table against K-map population. Check K-map groups against logic equation product terms. Check logic equations against schematic circuit optimization for area and or performance analyze verified circuit for optimization metric use boolean postulates and theorems re-simulate and verify optimized design.